एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम हाई वेलकम टू द एस चांद अकेडमी इन पार्ट वन ऑफ दिस सीरीज इन विच वी आर स्टडीड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ट्री रिकर्शन विद दी हेल्प ऑफ अ फिबोनाकी सीरीज in this part we will study about the concept of nested recursion with the help of a ackermann function i am dr shriyash atri and these are the some good books from the s chand publishing ackermann function what this function says the function says it is a function having two no negative arguments point to be noted only two no negative arguments this particular function is having there is no more than two arguments no and no less than two arguments where this ackermann function used this ackermann function used in the higher mathematics higher mathematics so we are not going into the depth of that mathematics we are just understanding the how to solve the concept of ackermann function using the recursion first understand the ackermann function this is the property of a ackermann function here it is saying a is a name of function m comma n are the two arguments now if the value of m is 0 then output is n plus 1 output is n plus 1 if the value of m is greater than 0 and n is equal to 0 then output is m minus 1 comma 1 if m is, and the third is if m is greater than 0 and n is greater than 0 both the arguments are greater than 0 then my output will be a m minus 1 a m comma n minus 1 just understand this this parameter is m minus 1 and this parameter is again a function call this particular parameter or you can say argument is again a function call and this type of thing is called nested recursion first understand this ackermann function and how it is going to perform if i say a 0 0 okay the value of m and n is 0 so what happens here it is saying m equal to 0 yes m equal to 0 if this is the condition then my output will be 1 okay if i say a 0 comma 1 now what happens here again m is equal to 0 and n is 1 then my output here is 2 okay now consider this third part the uh, second part if i say m is 1 and n is 0 now what happens here as per this rule it is saying a m minus 1 m is 1 1 minus 1 comma 1 okay then this is called a 0 comma 1 now a 0 comma 1 as we see here the value of a 0 comma 1 is 2 so uh, the output is 2 so th the output of this equation or this function is 2 okay similarly let me elaborate more here if i say a is 1 comma 1 okay now what happens third part m 1 is greater than 0 and n is greater than, greater than 0 now this part gives us the output a again m minus 1 this is inside a 1 minus 1 is 0 comma a and the value of m is 1 comma 0 okay now again solve it this is the recursive call because this is the parameter this is one argument and the second argument is again a function so this when we are having the function in function call in an argument that is called nested recursion so a 0 comma a10 we have seen that a10 is 2 here okay now solve it again a02 that means m equal to 
सो वेन द एम इज जीरो फाइनली माई आउटपुट इज हेयर इट इज टू प्लस वन दैट इज थ्री सो वेन द इनपुट इज ए वन वन द आउटपुट इज थ्री सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द अकरमैन फंक्शन लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू कोड इट अगेन आई हैव मैंशन हेयर इट इज अ नेस्टेड रिकर्शन बिकॉज वेन अ फंक्शन इज नॉट ओनली डिफाइंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ इट सेल्फ बट ऑल्सो यूज एज वन ऑफ द पैरामीटर्स टू दैट इज कॉल्ड नेस्टेड रिकर्शन ओके सो दिस इज द मेन फंक्शन हेयर एंड हेयर इज अ फंक्शन प्रोटोटाइप ए इंट एम एंड एन बोथ द एम एंड एन वेरिएबल्स और पैरामीटर्स आर ऑफ इंटीजर टाइप एंड द टू नंबर्स वी आर इंसर्टिंग द वैल्यूज ऑफ एम एंड एन हेयर ओके एंड प्रिंट एफ आउटपुट एंड वट वी नीड टू प्रिंट इट वी नीड टू प्रिंट द आउटपुट ऑफ दिस ए एम कोमा एन सो दिस इज अ फंक्शन कॉल एंड दिस इज अ फंक्शन डिक्लेरेशन हेयर द वैल्यू ऑफ लेट सी द एम इक्वल टू जीरो एंड एन इक्वल टू वन नाउ चेक इट आउट वट इज हैपनिंग हेयर सो इन साइड दिस फंक्शन इन द फंक्शन बॉडी वी हैव मैंशन ऑल दिस थ्री कंडीशन द फर्स्ट कंडीशन इज सेज इफ एम इक्वल टू जीरो रिटर्न एन प्लस वन the second condition is if n equal to 0 okay return a m minus 1 comma 1 if both the conditions are false then go to the final stage that is the third condition of the ackermann function a m minus 1 comma a m comma n minus 1 okay this is the main function i am again repeating here this is a function inside the function m minus 1 is a one parameter and this is the another function call which is called nested recursion okay so if m is 0 n is 1 what is going here m is 0 this is 0 this is 1 now m equal to 0 just yes, condition is to return n plus 1 the value of n was 1 so it is going to return 1 it is going to return 2 now where it is going to return 2 from where it was called so it was called from here so it it is going to print 2 okay so this is how printf statement works if i say m equal to 1 and n equal to 1 m is 1 n is 1 okay m equal to 0 condition false n equal to 0 condition false then it is going to third condition else part return a m minus 1 that is it is 0 okay now a m the value of m is 1 here and n minus 1 is Zero, okay. Then this will be again recursive. There will be a recursive call from here in which the value of m is one and n minus one is zero. So this recursive call will go here with this input m is one and n minus or the value of n is zero. Okay. So if that is one comma zero. So what is the output of is one comma zero in our previous slide? we have seen the output of 1 comma 0 is 2 so we can directly write here is 2 so the output of this particular statement is 2 now it is become a02 again it will be recursive call with the new inputs that is m is 0 and n is 2 and this process will go on until unless we are not getting the actual output of a02 so let's see now this becomes a 0 comma 2 okay so what the condition says m if the m equal to 0 return n plus 1 so finally my output is 3 so when the input is m1 and n1 my output is ackermann function output is 3 so this is all about the ackermann function in part 2 uh, we have understood the concept of nested recursion with the help of ackermann function how the nested recursion take place the meaning of nested recursion is when the recursive call is called from the one parameter of the recur uh, of one parameter of the function so we have understood the concept of the nested recursion in the ackermann function and these are the some good books from the s chand publishing i hope you are liking this video so please do subscribe like and share thank you All rights reserved. 
This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.